Alright guys, so here's my tip. So guys, I'm getting ready to go run in the cold of Chicago. Guys, I'm getting ready to go on a run in Chicago. So check this out, I'm going on a run in Chicago. And what I like to do is I like to put coconut oil on my skin. Because I feel like it kind of, like it protects it from the weather. So I, let me show you how I do it. And my face just feels, my face just feels warmer whenever I have it on there. So I scrape some out, I just put a little bit and I'm just putting it on. And I and I let it and I keep it on here um, so it kind of absorbs. Like if you if you're wearing like a hoodie, like a hoodie or, or, or a scarf or something, you want to let the oil at least seep in a little bit because it takes a long time. The coconut oil kind of takes a long time to absorb in the skin. I don't know why. That's just it. So I just rub it in. Especially around here. This is what's gonna be exposed. And then I put my gear on and we head off for the run. So that's my that's my winter. So that's my winter tip, guys. That's my winter running tip. <clears throat> Alright, y'all. All right, so that's my winter, so that's my tip. That's my tip if you're gonna go running in the winter, if you're gonna go outside and do some activity in the winter or the cold, put some coconut oil and uh, let me know what you think. Comment below, love you guys, bye. I'm gonna go for a run with the dogs. But what I wanna say is, I hope you can hear me. It's kind of weird because I consider myself like an artist like an artist and me trying to start a company. And, but I really don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, I just like, I, I, like I've done, so, I've never done social media. I've never done like recording videos, podcasts, blog, none of that. And I just, and I just keep trying keep posting and I don't know I just listened to Gary Vaynerchuk and, and so I guess I'm just learning little by little so it's a process y'all all right hit the follow and watch me keep going not know what I'm doing love you guys bye guys when I'm out running one of my mentors is David Goggins and he says, do something every day that sucks. So, no matter what day it is, no matter what the terrain is, no matter what, I come out and run. No excuses. Only time we can't run is to run to the rainstorm. <laughs> Maybe that is an excuse. guys that's how it turned out a bunch of vegetables and rice and that's my broke boy meal all right guys have a great day thanks for watching i hit the file for more cooking love you guys bye all right guys i just got home from the ride on the bike i want to show you let me, I got a with Ryan the bike. I'm gonna show you a quick little treat. They watch. This. All right, I'm gonna show you a quick little treat. What I'm gonna eat right now? Made some raisins, some peanut butter, some dark chocolate. That's gonna be my little snack. Got some raisins like that. This. I'll probably eat like a, a handful. Get some peanut butter. I use my personal jar. Something like that. Chocolate. I feel like this is gonna be like the sugars that I need, the sugars that I'm, I kind of want.
Hi guys. Bye soon. Love you. Bye. Today. Today. I will run with the hut. <laughs> Hey guys, I live near Route 66, the famous Route 66. Right here in Chicago, it's known as Ogden Avenue. So let's go. All right, trust me. right now. So there's Route 66. You can see it's downtown, it's right there. All right, guys, love you. Bye. Guys, one of the things I do when I train. I go up these parking garages. It's really good. It really helps me get stronger. I feel like doing parking garages has got my legs stronger. Like when I first started doing parking garages, it was so hard, but now it's not that hard. It just got a little easier. So that's what I like to do, guys. If you find a garage near you, jump on it. Love you guys. Bye. Check this out. I'm here sitting here, I'm thinking that it's kind of like weird to think that like my whole, like my whole childhood was kind of like fake and phony, like the whole thing. Yeah, I want to introduce you to this. I want to introduce you to this, rice and beans. This is one of the cheapest meals that I know. Basically rice, can of beans, heat it up, mix it together, and there you go. What's your cheap meal? Comment below. Love you guys. Bye. All right, guys. This is how it looks like we're getting a ride in Chicago. All right, guys. That's me. Now, we got to get through here. Thanks for watching me. Get ready. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye. Just fell off my gutter. Look at There's my gutter. And all this stuff fell off of it. Let me show you this big chunk. Check it out. Look at this thing. Look how big this is. This is on my gutter. Just tell, let me show you my, let me show you my foot my leg for, for reference. Look at, this, look at this piece over here. Look at this. Look at that. I just don't even know how that gutter supported that. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's bent. It's bent. It's completely bent. There's a dog. Look at that. Jeez. Came crashing down. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. All right, guys. Look what I found. Two for seven. Gluten free and vegan. Woo. Let's get them. Look what I found. There's a food pantry. There's a food pantry right down the block. So these are blueberries. I think I'm gonna take these. Look at this. One, two, three, four bags of blueberries. I'm gonna take them. Home. Some of these bags look like they're getting a little loose, so I gotta put them in the freezer soon. Okay, that's two and a half pounds. And I got four of them. So it is, guys. I feel very grateful. Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. That's 10 pounds of blueberries I got for free. Love you guys. Doing free vegan review time. Time for another street review. Today, Pirates food, veggie sticks, Walgreens, gluten free and vegan. Alright, let's try it. I mean, I already had it. They're pretty good. Guys. I definitely like them a lot. There's snow. Sometimes I get to walk on the ice and sometimes I fall through. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I 
was trying to walk light. Well, there we go, guys. That's the view. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Love you. Bye. I want to share with you four business mentors that have gotten me to where I currently am today. So I'm here documenting what it's like to start a company. So I'm going to tell you the four business mentors that have gotten me to where I currently am now. So the first business mentor that I came across was Les Brown. That was, I don't know, like three and a half years ago. And he basically, what he helped me with was understanding it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter the situation. You can make it happen. So I took that away from him, from Les Brown. And then the next business guy, my next business mentor that I came across was Jim Rohn. Now, Jim Rohn was a very successful entrepreneur himself. And so he tells about his life, where he started from, how he was thinking. And then he comes at it from like, he's already successful. So he tells you this journey. And he tells you what you have to think, like how you have to be to be successful. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I took that away. And then the next business mentor that I came across was Gary Vaynerchuk. Now, Gary Vaynerchuk gave me the the impetus to just move forward with it. Just just document, just start, just go. And so I've been documenting and just going, 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 listen to Gary Vaynerchuk. And you know, that's pretty dope. And so what I took from Gary Vaynerchuk was just start, just start, just do, just do, just document. The fourth business mentor that I came across is David Meltzer. Now, David Meltzer, when I see him, it's like he comes across a business and he takes it from like, like a spiritual, you know, like an energy, like a universal, like like a Buddhist monk. So what I'm taking from David Melcher is you can run a business with kindness, with a, a, a universal philosophy, if you will. So guys, those are the four business mentors that are helping me out to get to where I am currently. Hit the follow if you want to see a guy turn an idea into a dream. Love you guys, bye. I'm ready to go on a bike ride, but I want to share with you a couple of things that I'm reading that if you're an entrepreneur, check this out. First thing I got is a journal, start journaling. And the go-to book that everybody talks about. So it says Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I'm like on chapter three and this one. So those are the two books that I'm started on. Comment below, let me know what books you're reading. Love you guys, bye. All right guys. I'm gonna show you how to make a smoothie from food pantry ingredients.